friends, good morning. I wanted to show you guys my meal prep that um, hopefully will last for a few days. And this is what I always do with my veggies, especially the sweet potato. I've got bell peppers in here and then some uh, zucchini squash. And what I like to do is just drizzle this with just a little bit of olive oil. And then I like to use this. This was on my um, last upload, which is the Trader Joe's and Costco haul. This is the chili lime seasoning blend. Just the right amount of salt and heat. So I don't even need um, salt and pepper. It's just this with the olive oil. Sprinkle that and then um, grill it. While I'm grilling this, I don't like my veggies too um, mushy, too soft. I do like it a little bit crunchy, but I do like the, the flavor of the... <laughs> The heat, um, the flavor, not the heat, the smoky flavor of uh, grilling it. So while I'm grilling this, I am going to put this into the oven. I washed it really well because I do eat the skin of the, the sweet potato. And then I put little um, slits in here. I'm going to bake this 400 degrees. Um, I don't have a timer, maybe 15, 20 minutes, just until this is done. And then I'm going to go ahead and slice this just like how I slice this one. And then place it into the grill with the same seasoning as well. Once they're all done, I'm going to mix that together. And then I add it onto everything. Um, for instance, here, I just got done grilling this uh, last night. I went ahead and placed it in the freezer. These are just like tenderloins. But I put like a lemon pepper seasoning as well as uh, this. Um, they have those lemon pepper uh, containers like this, that's seasoning. And um, a little bit of olive oil, this one, drizzle that. And, um, and that's it. So it's, it's, it doesn't have too much, um, too much flavoring onto it so that I could add it onto many dishes. Like I said, this is tenderloins and this is good for um, add-ons to veggie dishes like this or else when the kids pack um, salad for school then I can just take this out of the freezer and go ahead and um, slice it up and then it'll be perfect by the time it's lunch or else those are ready to me to eat Trader Joe's they could um, cut this up and then add it on to that so also my Trader Joe's haul I told you guys that I was making sopas because everybody is getting sick first it was Danielle Okay, so I'm going to show you guys really quick. I made this last night it, uh, in the fridge. Somebody had it all ready for, um, for lunch. And this was just left over. So I made a big batch from also from using my, um, my own <laughs> chicken broth. So then you're like, come on, mom, film, film this. I showed you guys on the haul about how I love these little small avocados from Trader Joe's. I, that was part of my haul because like... Um, Danielle likes to eat it like this. She also packed this for lunch as well as some grilled um, uh, vegetables. Or no, it was steamed, huh? It was steamed broccoli and tomato mm -hmm. over rice. And then you just drizzle a little bit of soy sauce. She just likes it plain like that. But then she also packed this. That's why I like the hoagie, the hoagie bread. Because it is soft when you put it into the, um, the microwave, even for just 10 seconds. And then she puts her um, avocado with salt and pepper. Mm -hmm. And it's good really good simple okay let me show you guys my chicken sopas I have a recipe here under Filipino recipes chicken sopas so it's just like this it doesn't the broth is here because um, at the bottom because the noodles have been absorbing it but it's it's our version of uh, um, American chicken noodle soup but with a Filipino touch to it and it's more creamy rather than the um, the seasoning. I still use the chicken broth, but I do put uh, milk in here. So I have a recipe, and it's really good. If you guys want to venture into trying that out, it's really good. All right, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grill this. So we'll see you guys in a bit. All right, friends, this is how I grill it. And this is, our grill is just so old. It's not even funny. Hubby will not get rid of it because he said it's just, we live in Washington, and it's outside. It's our outdoor grill, so it gets rained on. Um, but all he does is just re place this like every two months um, I think they're like five dollars a piece so fifteen dollars he replaces it every every three or four months but then I'll add my tomatoes last and then I'm gonna take out my um, sweet potato while this is grilling out of the oven dice it or um, chunks it out and this is perfect so I love how the veggies are just grilled and this is perfect to add on to any meal like the quinoa the pasta hi my lovely yeah that's your toy 
So this is just going to grill for another, I would say another 10 minutes or 5 to 10 minutes. All right, friends, so here's the sweet potato. It's actually really cooked. I think I, I put it into the oven too long, but it's okay. I, I just, I have it here just to have that grill uh, roast flavor. Um, not even going to mix it because it is pretty, pretty soft and tender. And look how um, my veggies turned out. I'm gonna take a bite out of a small bell pepper. Mmm, so sweet. I just love grilled veggies. Mmm, so delicious. I love it. And then my tomatoes. It's um I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's very soft. It's like it's gonna pop in your mouth. Mmm. And it does. It gives you that pop in your mouth, bursting flavor. I love it. So I'm gonna show you guys really quick. This is my new vlog. Um trying to find some ways to not redo my channel, but my channel is <laughs> it's all about life like we take chances or we decide on one thing and then we focus on that and we decide on another thing it's just I honestly feel like my my channel has been what life itself is right now I'm into Sensi because we all know that we get into you know kind of business or kind of venture it doesn't have to be a business it could be a venture I could have been doing like a marathon you know being prepared or prepared for a marathon so that's what I feel my channel is it's it's where life takes me so at the moment, because of the new year, this channel is taking me to a new a vlog series. So I'm not going to vlog the way I used to. Maybe I'll just call it um, a day in the life because usually with YouTube, you either call it vlog or a day in the life. So maybe I'll start calling it that. And it's more of like what I'm doing um, with me because I, I don't have the kids anymore. They're just out doing their own thing. But um, I'm going to show you guys. Um, I cooked this. This is the organic white quinoa. Um, I cooked this um, per direction, but instead of just using water, I do use my own chicken broth um, that I, I use. I showed you guys how I do that with uh, my Trader Joe's haul, and I do this. I do a chicken broth like every week um, of my own, so I use it throughout the week for my cooking. I'm going to add these together, cook this, and then... Um, once I um, once it's cooked and I'll set it aside, I'll chop some red onions, some even cilantro. Hi. Sorry, that was my neighbor. Um, so I'll do this and then I'll do a meal prep. So this is just for me and um, and hubby. And this is probably a good, I want to say three or four days worth of uh, of meal, whether it's lunch or dinner. And I'll have the quinoa with the. Um, I have it with I have a recipe right here. It's on my phone Here's my recipe. I can actually um, make a video of it But I like to put the cucumber red onion cilantro jalapeno lime green onion bell pepper And I just chop those all up and put it into the quinoa and then with the quinoa I add a little bit of uh, vinegar as well. Thank you Danica And then I'll show you guys a video on that. It's really good all right, friends, I'm going to show you guys, um, I'm going to finish this off and show you guys how I do the, the meal prep. Um, this is just mine, so hubby is not feeling well, so he's not really wanting to eat um, the usual meal prep that we have. So he's having the sopas, which is the Filipino, um, Filipino chicken noodle soup. But I showed you guys how I marinate this and how I grill it. And then the quinoa, I just basically cooked it with just um, pepper, a little bit of salt, just a little bit of salt. And then um, instead of water, I use my chicken broth. So I have one in here prepped up. And let me show you how I store my chicken. And I keep it in this IKEA plastic bag, but I do, um, I do put it into another big one, into a freezer bag. And then I just happen to have some wax paper, so I also cover that with the wax paper. And I'll get some. And this was into the into the freezer because I had cooked this yesterday. It's actually about 9:30 now, so it's really hard for me to find time to to really um, cook for the family because I am so busy. Jonathan went to um, class tonight and then so I went ahead and um, and I also had hula and then after hula I went to the gym and then um, Jonathan and I just ride together so save on gas because it's about roughly about 
15 minutes away. So just roughly slice it. And two, this is uh, chicken tenderloin. And I just marinate this with lemon pepper. Fresh lemons, um, fresh pepper, and then um, seasoning of the Tom's uh, lemon pepper. Okay, so there we go. Now I have this one prepped. And it's super easy, super simple. And this one doesn't have as much of the sweet potato. I do like the sweet potato. So get that. Get some of the chicken. This doesn't need any kind of sauce whatsoever. And look at that. That's your own bowl. And it's, you know, you made it so you know what's in there rather than purchasing it um, at the restaurant or other places. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Just simple, easy meal that I do. It's just I love these type of veggies. And I'm loving more and more of the quinoa. And then I always, always have uh, grilled chicken. Um handy it's perfect for the kids as well all right friends mahalo all right friends um everybody's sick um that's the next day since i did my um film for you guys of uh, my meal prep i'm starting to get sick as well i can really feel the the shivers um danny had up to 104 something so um really not good for her to have that high of a fever hubby danielle so the only one that's not getting it is uh, mommy, Danica you, mommy, and then Jonathan. Yes, mommy, my love. Mommy, you, yes. you, you, you wear bottle, though. Okay, hold on a second. So, um, I've taken away the Christmas decorations already throughout the home. But now I did not um, put my, what do you call this, my Scentsy Warmers. And I have, um, I have a lot of Scentsy Warmers. <laughs> because I use them as part of my decoration uh, throughout the, the house like this one I have a white pineapple like the white theme in here and then a pop of color so my I just want this to be my pop of color you had me at Aloha and then I think this um, wildlife Sensi warmer this is actually also a Sensi warmer this is our um, southern has uh, southern hospitality but I feel like the throw on this one is re like really not um, well, I think it's an 8 watt warmer, so I just keep it on um, for <laughs> for decoration purpose. So I'm going to go ahead and start putting out um, my, my warmers and then I'm going to create a separate video to show you guys where I place my, um, I'm going to spring and summer um, collection of warmers. Alright friends, um, I just did the video last night of this like I mentioned. But here's my water for the day. Got to make sure I drink all of that. A um, little sparkly because of me not feeling well. Tylenol, coffee. Um, <laughs> and basically, I'm just going to have this for lunch. It is already 1.43. Um, so I purposely have like a, a late lunch. So it'll tie me over for dinner because my dinner, I'm waiting for my bananas to ripen from uh, my Costco haul. So hopefully that's going to be ripened by tonight so that I can just have um, the organic uh, PB Fit chocolate peanut butter powder. I got this over at Costco, uh, I think, back in November. And um, and I'm just gonna have that for, for dinner. So I, I try to just have like a light, um, light dinner. And this is looking delicious. It's huge, it's a huge bowl, but they said that to eat like a king for lunch and then eat like a popper, popper uh, <laughs> for, for dinner.